I have to Do read this to you. Y'all expect me to be calm about it? I'm a black female. I have to and, read it. And your police officer grabs me by the throat? Yeah, you said that a lot now. I stopped you for a couple of reasons, okay? So you were all over the road. At one point you were straddling the lanes and you, you uh, switched lanes without signaling and then whenever you made it over here to the 30 mile per hour zone, you were still going over 50 miles an hour, okay? Do you have your driver's license and proof of insurance? I don't think so. All right. Okay, well I smell alcohol coming from the car. How much did you have to drink? You gonna be truthful or you gonna step out of the car so we can run some tests? Or... I'm not gonna step out the car whatsoever, so. Okay, well right now I do believe you are under the influence and I'd really like for you to step out of the car so I can just. I understand what you would like. Okay, asking you to step out of the car is a lawful order, okay? Yeah. Right now, I need for you to step out of the car. That's a female. Step out of the car. Uh, all right, so let's talk about it, man. So, yeah, dang, man. Uh, so, the police see this lady swerving all over the road, right? Now, you know, hey, you see somebody swerving, man, these cops know what's up, man. You know, most times somebody, you know, you if you check your phone or whatever, man, or change the radio or whatever, you might do a little swerve here, but when you just police already know man and then when you drink and you drink enough man that alcohol is coming through your through your pores boy the alcohol coming out your mouth the alcohol coming in your tears man like uh, alcohol, when you drink that junk come through your skin man so the police are already knowing what's up man you know what i'm saying they already knowing when they pull up to that car now here go what i say why is people uh, Man, bro, like, if you know you're going out to drink, why is you not planning beforehand? But see, that's because people not being taught, man, that your decisions mean something. Their parents, their daddies, their daddies is not there teaching them. Now, some people got mental issues or whatever. I ain't talking about, I ain't, you know, necessarily talking about that, man, all right? That ain't what we're talking about out here, you know? We talking about people who ain't been taught, all right? That's the folk I'm talking about, folks who ain't been taught. They ain't been taught. that Their decisions mean something, man. Every decision you make is uh, serious, man. So you can't just go out here doing what you want to do in life. You know, that's why well, it's important that you tap that hand when they're young. <laughs> you tap that leg. Tap that leg when they're young. Or you tap that leg when they're young. From the time they're young, they start understanding, okay, if I do that, then, then, uh, okay, I'm, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to hurt. But if you don't teach them that when they're young, then by the time they get teenagers, too God, that ain't late, man. It's too late. And if you ever was a teenager yourself, or if you know any teenagers right now, you know if you wait to the time they teenagers, when they really start bucking, because they going to start bucking. If you wait to the end, it's going to be too goddamn late, and you're going to be up many nights. Oh, where did I go wrong? Oh. I believe you are intoxicated, and I need you to step out of the car so that I can assess you. And close the door, please. Ma'am, thank you. Close listen to me. No, you're getting out of the car now, or we're getting no. you out forcefully. Okay, Either. well, you're going to get me out. Okay. 
because I told you don't get me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't know me. Get out of the car. Don't touch me. You don't know me. Get on the ground. Get, get on the ground. On the ground. For what? For what? Get on the ground. For what? You're under arrest. 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 Tell me what? Resisting DUI and assault. Get on your face. Get on your face. No, I'm not getting on my face. Back up, ma'am. I will get on my. I will get on the no, lower get back. No, get on your stomach now. <laughs> Get on your belly and get in here. Get on your I stomach. Can't. Okay. We're fine. We're trying to get one in. I don't give a fuck what I'm fighting for. Like, yeah, I'm always trying to get black people. I asked you to get out of the car. Hey, no, you your hands now. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Stop. 41. Got to and then I'm going to drive back to the full train in 15 minutes. Give him your arm. Stop fighting. You didn't even ask. <laughs> I told you many times. Give me a lawyer. I told you many times. Give me a lawyer. I told you many times. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. And you assaulted my arm. No, you didn't. No, I did. No, I did. You punched me in the. Man, you punched me. We're not arguing. I told you to get out of the car. You got me. Quiet. We're not arguing. Now, this lady here is under the influence. She drunk. So, some of this is, some of this is on, because when you're drunk, just being drunk, it accentuates. Ooh, wait, that's a nice word. It accentuates. I'm a smooth-talking Negro. <laughs> being drunk accentuates who you already is. So, you take somebody, you know, so just like, um, when I used to, when I was a teenager, man, you know, we'd sneak off, man, go get whatever. And, uh, and like, I would get real, you know, I'm one of them emotional drinkers, you know. Back when I, when I used to do that, man, I, I get all emotional. And, man, you know, you money for life, man. And, and we need to do this, man. And we got to do this. We got to get it. We got to get it together, man. We got to get it. That's how I would, because that's all it do is it make you more who you already is. You know, so some of this already is in her to buck, you know, and uh, and plus she she was drunk, but she wasn't so drunk that she knew she was still sober enough to know I didn't got I done messed up. Whatever I got going in life, it's just been derailed because um, I didn't messed up, man. This is this is a big deal. Driving under the influence, that's felony charges, man. You know, that's something that's going to prevent you from getting certain jobs, good jobs especially. That's something that keep you from where you can't go to school, where you can't vote. Like, man, that's a serious charge, man. So even though she was under the influence, she was, she was sober enough to know that I just messed up. So there ain't nothing you can do but fight. You're fighting because you're hurt. You're feeling you angry at yourself. I told you to get I out of the car. I said, if you don't get out, I will have to get I you out. I did not hear that. You didn't. I'm not. Whatever. I don't give Whatever. Clearly not. Don't, don't grab me. Don't grab me. There. Please. Stop. 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 Are you done? Are you done? Do you want to lose your job? We're what? not losing our job. You're, you're going to jail. Because you're breaking my arm. You hit me in the face, you grabbed my neck, you grabbed my shirt. You're clawing my arms and you refuse to settle down. You pulled me out the car. Exactly. Man, you refused to get out of the you car. To get out. No, you did Multiple times. We are not going to argue. We are not going Back to stay here and wait. You're hurting my arm. Are you done? Are you, you you're done hurting are my you arm? Done are you done resisting? Are you done hurting my arm? Are you done resisting? Are you done hurting my arm? Because you hurt my arm. Wait, wait, can y'all just be handsome? Now, this is another thing right here, man. Fighting with police. Let me tell you something, man. Um, you don't know how many tries a police officer is going to give you. Because if a police officer has the right to do whatever they're trying to do or tell you whatever, if they got that right 
and you bucking it, you don't know that they're gonna give you five, six, seven, eight chances, man. You don't know that. So if a policeman, like once they tell you to step out the car, now if I'm wrong, you know, correct me, but once they tell you step out the car, they have the right to do their search because he smelled the alcohol. So when she said, I'm not getting out the car, uh, he smelled the alcohol on her. So once they confirm that that alcohol smell is out, bro, you it is, you in trouble. Once they confirm that alcohol smell, bro, you in trouble, man, period. So, um, you know, so, man, so when you fight them now, so when police is trying to do stuff, asking you, is you going to do this or you going to go to jail? So like I saw one video, I'm going to talk about it. He told the lady, sign a ticket to go to jail. You know, when they do this, and you say, no, nah, I ain't signing it. They might, that might be it right there. You don't know that he finna get you fast because this lady here, they ain't give her too many chances, man. He said step out the car. He might have said it about three, four times. He said it about maybe three times. And then the lady said it once. And when she said that jump, and the lady said, nah, that, that lady was like, okay, you getting out the car. So, you know, all some officers, they'll sit there and give you, you know, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve chances. But this is why don't push. <laughs> this is why I don't push, you know. Hey, I, I wouldn't push officer the first time, man, because I'm trying to get home, man. Skip that other junk. They talking about shit. Yeah. I wish you would be. No, back. Can you just back up for a moment? Yeah. Face the car. Hey, face the car. Hey, face the car. Face the Widen your stance. I have to pat you for weapons. Do you have okay. anything illegal that's going to hurt me? No. That's a simple yes. Y'all always do this to black hey. people, bro. Get away God, from the car. I swear to God, I hate this. No. Why me to black in this? Hey. Okay. I am trying. Ma'am. I'm trying to make sure you don't have any weapons. I want I to don't. Make, then listen to me. Okay? Look, we just had a fight. Bro, hey, you just hurt my arm, man. You hurt me. Yeah, how am I supposed to do? Stop. Stop talking. You yeah. have my shot. Uh, be no, quiet. I'm not going to shut up. Stop. I'm not going to shut up. I'm trying to explain everything to you. You hit me in the face. You grab my neck. I am trying to be nice. Make sure you don't have weapons on you. I don't have any weapons on you. Oh, you grab me out the car unlawfully. Can you be gentle? Get in the car. Can you be gentle? Can y'all get, get in the car? I'm gonna pull you from the other side if you don't get in. No. Can y'all get in? We don't want to have to pull you. I'm giving you chances. I'll see you pull me. What's your phone number? Since you got me back here. What's your phone number? I need it. Do you want to be able to get your car? I have to have your phone number so you can get your car at a later time. I feel like y'all profiled me. Ma'am, I want you to be able to get your car back at a later time. It's going to be impounded because we can't leave it here. If you want your vehicle back, I need your phone number. What's your name? Officer Peralta. Officer Peralta? Yes, ma'am. Now, can I please get your phone number? So, Officer Prata, let me ask you this. Okay, you have two more chances to give me your phone number? I'm asking you a question okay. as to regards. So, I'm trying to figure out what's really going on. What is your question? What's going on? Why did y'all pull me out of my car? Okay, my partner and I have explained it to you. Alexandra, give her your phone number or you're not going to get your car back. Do you want your car back? It's as simple as that. We don't, you're not going to get it back unless you give me your phone number. All right, let's talk about pride, man. So, um, pride, man. The Bible say pride comes before the fall. When you so prideful that you just, look, man, daddies, this is the message to the daddies out there. Daddies, be there for your children, man. Period, point blank. Be there for your children. Right? That's all it is to it. Be there for your children, man, because you have to, a man got to teach his child how to shut their mouth up, how to be disciplined when it's time. Women can teach this too. They can, if they've been taught. But in my opinion, it all starts with a man.
Now, some of y'all might not believe that. That's fine. It's my opinion, all right? In my opinion, you need a man to teach you how to be, how to keep your mouth shut, how to be disciplined when it's time. Because sometimes women are more emotional. That's why men, that's why I love women. That's why I love, because they all emotional. I need some of that goddamn emotion. Come on with it, boy. I love that. So, you know, that, that's how we a little more different. So, you know, that's why, you know, this why some bad women out here, boy. They get the job done, boy, because they come with that fire, man. You know, but we, we, we sometimes we a little lacking right there. So you need, but that's good. You know, you need balance, man. So you need your mama passionate fire, because just like with Jesus, right? It was his mama that was there on the scene, man. His mama was the one. The women was the ones that seen him get up out the grave, man. It was the women seen it first. You know, so the way, you know, man, women, uh, they, they, you know, we both got our roles and we both were perfect when we work together or whatever. 640, want to be? I don't believe, I, I don't believe cops. And you're not getting it. Good. I don't believe cops. I don't believe cops. I don't believe cops. I'm sorry. You can't be mad at me because I'm black and I don't believe. Either. And the word, the word, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. So, like, I don't believe cops. If y'all want to let me go so I can get some air. But no, you have me in a police car. I don't know what. I could be sex trafficked. I don't know what is going on. Yeah. I'm going to jail because of what? DUI, assault battery on a police officer resisting. Do you, I'm sorry, what? Okay. Police officer grabbed me by the throat. After, yeah. after reading this to you. expect me to be calm about it? I'm a yeah, Pops. Teach your goddamn children, man. Then you won't have this junk going on, man. You know, because if this was, man, if, if I ever saw my daughter out there, you know, it would hurt, man. Could you imagine? So, you know, if this young lady ever see this video of her family, bro, I ain't doing this for, um, you know, I ain't doing this for just for views or this or that. I'm trying to teach somebody something, man. I'm trying to teach somebody something. So, you know, if, if um, you know, if, if she ever come see this, everybody's, bro, hit, hit, hit me up, we can talk, man, because that's what I'm trying to, I'm trying to help people grow, to show people the way not to go. Black female, After and, you, and your police officer grabs me by the throat. Yeah, you said that a lot now. 